Um, so first I want to ask, how are you feeling today? <laughs> That's a great question. Yeah, I feel like nobody really asked. So. I didn't really see that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, today I am feeling so overwhelmed. Yeah. Like in an amazing way, but mm -hmm. in a way that's just kind of impossible for me to wrap my head around. I mean, I just never have been a part of something of so this scale. I don't, I, I don't know if you can really be a part of anything that's a larger scale in terms of how many people have a relationship to it, mm -hmm. how many people are invested in all the characters and the world building, and and like, I don't know, I just feel like I'm being flooded with information. And yeah. it's a relief because we have been hiding the show for so long and there's so much we're not allowed to talk about. Mm -hmm. And now to finally be able to share it with people is like, oh my God, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. But of course, it's just a lot. It's yeah. a lot. I mean, um, you've also been flooded with praises. Of course, recently you received oh. a very heartwarming message from Hayden Christensen, AKA <laughs> the Darth Vader. Um, and you were absolutely gagging, <laughs> okay? Gag. I know you're a huge Star Wars fan. So what was it like being able to, you know, get that acknowledgement and, and praise from someone like him? <laughs> they did me dirty. Cause they, they put me, cause they put me on camera. Okay, yeah. You were. And then filmed my reaction yeah, to- Yeah, you look like you were about to pass out a little. Like, <laughs> they did me dirty. Like they, they gave me the greatest gift ever and did me dirty at the same yeah. time because my response is so embarrassing. <laughs> no, it was, but, it was very cute, it was very cute. Um, oh my God, that was so cool. Crazy. And I've watched that video a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I also think that you and Hayden, um, I'm not sure if you know, but I feel like you guys are more alike than you think. Um, mm -hmm. I was recently watching a clip of you at the Star Wars attraction at Disneyland. Mm -hmm. um, and I read a comment that was very endearing, but it was also very interesting. Um, the comment said, do whatever it takes to protect this girl. She doesn't deserve any toxic comments or backlash. Don't take her enthusiasm and passion away like some fans did to Jake Lloyd um, and Hayden. And as many people know, Hayden and Jake Lloyd um, received a lot of harsh criticism during the trilogy, the Star mm -hmm. Wars trilogy era, um, despite the movies now being a favorite, um, like a favorite amongst fans. Sure. Um, so I want to know if, you know, the casting in this series has also faced a, a lot of backlash, specifically on the diversity front. Mm -hmm. um, do you believe that fans will eventually grow to love this series and your role in it, like they did with Hayden and, and Jake? Well, I think the kind of criticism or backlash that you're speaking to is a very particular sect of the fandom of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. And there's also a lot of beautiful nerds <laughs> out there who are expressing a lot of support and a lot of joy and, and a lot of gratitude for the show existing, which mm -hmm. makes us so happy because that's the point of the show. You know, I, I knew coming into this three years ago that this was the case mm -hmm. of, of the, the culture of the fandom. And so it was something that I thought really long and hard about before I signed on to it. And yeah. so thankfully I've had a lot of time to mentally prepare for this reality, mm -hmm. which I mean, you can theoretically prepare and then not know exactly what it's gonna feel like. You know, you know I, really me know. being a bit overwhelmed, yeah. but I knew what it was going to be. Mm -hmm. And um, I made the decision that I made because, well, I mean, the legacy of Star Wars and being able to be a part of it, but the opportunity to hopefully touch people in, in a positive way. And thankfully, we're already seeing a lot of that. So yeah, don't worry about me. I'm <laughs> Oh, no, yeah. listen, I've been following you and your career for years, and you're definitely built for this. This is <laughs> this is you. light work. This is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I know you said that one of the things that you love about the Star Wars series is that um, it's filled with so many lessons and that you can just pick one that resonates with you. Um, so I want to know what lessons um, from being a part of the Star Wars franchise have had the greatest impact on you personally? Ooh, um... You know, um, I think this whole concept of fear is the path to the dark side, you know. Mm -hmm. um, fear can stoke some of the most uncomfortable feelings in us, and it can be a really difficult emotion to process and yeah. move past, and we can 
deal with it in really harmful ways, either towards ourselves or towards others, whether that be insecurity or hate. Um, and I, I think a lot about when a negative emotion comes up, instead of suppressing it, you know, or trying to make it disappear, which can be dangerous because it's just going to pop back up later yeah. in some capacity. I think about sitting in it and allowing myself to feel something and, and giving myself grace and compassion in it so that I can move to the light side, you yeah. know? And I think that's something we see over and over again in um, characters in the Star Wars universe is when they don't allow trauma to move through them and out of them, but when they hold on to her, they suppress it. That's the path to the dark side. Mm -hmm. You are absolutely right. That is something that I've had to learn personally for myself, but I just want to note, not to get too therapy-ish, but there's no <laughs> such thing as a negative emotion. All mm. emotions are valid. Mm. Um, it's how you express it that, you know, may be negative or positive, mm. but yeah. no emotions are negative. Yeah. So that's a good answer. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it took me to church. I know. <laughs>